Okay, we got this Washburn Acoustic Electric. The, uh, wasn't working, electronics weren't working. First we determined that the jack goes through the end pin was disconnected, so we rewired that. It was missing the uh, cap here. You see with these end pin jacks, they have a little hole there. That's to hold the jack while you tighten up the nut there. If you can see that very well, but yeah, there I'll show you. There we go. So there's a little hole here. Go through that, and then you can tighten up the nut without moving the rest of it. In this case, we already got it pretty tight. Then you put your cap on and make sure you got a washer there too. A lock washer is good, not necessarily though. And then there's your cap on. And these get lost because people uh, don't put them on tight enough. You can put a little drop of glue, but I don't recommend it because then if you ever have to get it off, it makes it really hard. So if you have some leather. And you put it right around there with your pliers. Can't tighten it much more than I did with my hand though. Just a little bit. A little dab will do you. And here's something we're not going to fix. <laughs> a big hole there. That's many smacked pretty good. So the next thing here is this battery compartment. The little one's missing the cover. So we already scoped it out and we found a battery compartment that will fit. We take the old screws out. Pop that baby out. Now the old connectors on this were the uh, Going here the strap kind. So we cut that off. Remove this. Come on, get out of there. So this is the old one with no cover junk. Like I said, we uh, took the new one, which is a little different connector, and soldered the wires, covered them good. And this will be our new battery compartment. Let's make sure the guitar is not going anywhere on us. So we'll plug that in. Now we can reinsert this. And we'll screw that down and we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, it's got a nice little uh, cushion there too. So we'll drill tiny holes first and screw it in, but you get the idea. And we'll restring this baby and uh, see what it sounds like. Clean it up first. I don't know what these stamps are doing here. The first thing you got to do is clean the dang thing up. So we'll do that. And uh, if you have any other problems, we'll make another display. But you can see this is pretty dirty. First thing we clean it with is a little water. Yeah, where's my nice rag? This white rag, where it goes. There's a lot of dirt on here. So, I call it bar, too very dirty. Somebody glued this nut with the, looks like Gorilla Glue expanding. So we'll clean that up too. So, that's the story of Morning Glory. Let's see if the goof off here has released the stickiness on this. 
and it's getting there. But you can see whenever you do that, it discolors the guitar. It's lighter there. If you want to maintain the value of your instrument, keep it clean and don't put junk on it. And if you use a pick, use a pick guard, otherwise you end up with a guitar with a hole in it like Willie Rogers. I mean, <laughs> Willie Nelson, excuse me. All right, that's the episode for today. Check in next time. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm just gonna show you the inside of the guitar with the camera. So we'll put a little light in there. See if the camera will fit. Quite good in there, but you can see what the guitar looks like on the inside with the uh, wires going to the electronics. Not a very good view, but you get the idea. It's complicated. There we go. Now you saw the inside of the guitar from the view of a battery compartment. Until next time.